Welcome back to Sushi Day and another episode of Snack Attack. This time, we've got Kit Kats. If you are familiar with Asian Kit Kats at all, you will know that there are so many different flavors of Kit Kats in Japan. And it's always fun to try all of the different flavors that they have. So today we've got four flavors. I've kind of grouped them because we do have at least one more Kit Kat video coming up in a bit. But today's flavors are kind of sort of cafe related. As you do for any good tasting, I'm starting with the mildest flavor and going to the strongest. So the first flavor that we've got is this sort of graham cracker biscuit-ish sort of flavor. If I can open the package. Come on. Got it. So it's very uh, white chocolate base is what it looks like. Let's try this. It kind of tastes like a sugar cookie with maybe a little bit of graham cracker flavor in there. It's super mild, but it's one of those things that's just kind of comforting. Like it's not gonna be an extreme flavor, not anything that is gonna make you like, I don't know how I feel about this, or it's just too strong for what I want right now. No, this is like your comfort food, Kit Kat. I want a cup of tea. Next up, we've got purple sweet potato. Ever since I had my Miso Hungry podcast many, many, many years ago, all about Japanese food, and Rachel introduced me to how the Japanese always do these purple sweet potato desserts, and they're always really good. So I gotta get it whenever I see it. First of all, isn't this such a pretty lavender color? It's just... So delicate. I love this color so much. If you are familiar with Japanese purple sweet potato desserts at all, like candies that they've done, I, I know I've tried a few in the past, but never on YouTube. This tastes pretty much how they always do. You can't really tell at first. You can't really taste it. Uh, it just tastes sweet white chocolate, and then the flavor hits you. It's a very deep, I would almost compare it to grape, but not as strong as American grape flavors tend to be. It's a lot more subtle. And maybe I'm just thinking that because it's purple, so I'm making that association, but it's a very deep, not very earthy, which you might think because of potato. Um, deep, but, but mellow. I don't know if I'm describing this very well. <laughs> I do really like it though. Next up, we have matcha. This is the most common Japanese Kit Kat flavor that you can find in the US, and everybody always really loves matcha. I don't blame them. So, let's try them. It's very olive green. At first, all you get is sweetness. And then as you eat it, a little bit of roastiness comes through and then near the end is that earthiness that if you've had matcha drinks before you will associate with matcha it's very elegant i don't know if that's the word i'm looking for but it, it feels very sophisticated because a lot of candies a lot of kit kats chocolates stuff like that will just be pure sweet but this one, like you've got that little roastiness, you've got that little bitterness. So it's a much more complex flavor than you get with a lot of Kit Kat flavors. And I think that's why everybody loves it so much. It's just, it's delicious. So 
A lot of the history behind why Kit Kats are so popular and all the flavors are so popular in Japan is because I believe, and I'm pulling this off at the top of my head, so don't quote me on this, but they are used as like good luck sort of things, a, a way to wish someone good luck for like their test or their interview or whatever. So people will gift them to each other to wish them good luck. So the bag that I have for the coffee flavored Kit Kats is a thank you bag or something like this. But then this says Totema. I don't know what that means. I also don't fully know if I'm reading that correctly. My Japanese is a little questionable. <clears throat> Anyways, let's try this. The second I open the package, I feel like I'm in a coffee shop, just like that coffee smell just hits you. So let's taste these. Oh, this is super smooth. I'm one of those people. I love the smell of coffee. I love the taste of coffee. My body does not love coffee, so I don't get to drink coffee very often because when I do, it's generally not a good day, unfortunately. But I love coffee flavored things because I just adore the flavor of it. And this is super, super smooth. It's like, let me try some more. It's like Cafe Suda. You know, if you've had Vietnamese coffee, how it's very sweet, but it's also very strong. Like this is some intense coffee flavor, but it's also, it has none of the bitterness that coffee does. It's purely sweet and it's delicious. I'm awake. I'm ready to go meet the day. I'm just gonna have one of these every morning instead of trying and failing to have coffee. Seems like a plan. All four of those Kit Kat flavors were absolute winners in my book, but I wanna know, what interesting Kit Kat flavors have you seen? I need to know what I should look out for and what other flavors I should be trying, because this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that sub button and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single episode of Snack Attack. I know it's the most important part of your week. And if it is the most important part of your week, make sure to hit that like button because it does help our little channel grow. I'll see you next time.